I like what I saw from the 49ers. We're going to find out a lot more about them. Mm. They got still got Minnesota, got Seattle on the uh, uh, schedule again. They got Green Bay. So we'll find out. But I was really impressed with mm. what I saw with Jimmy Garoppolo last night, and it explains to why Coach Belichick was willing to make that move. Bottom line to that game was that Jimmy Garoppolo kept Kyler Murray from pulling off what would have been the upset of the year in the National Football mm-hmm. League. I'll give you that. Because if Kyler Murray had gotten the ball back within the last five minutes, because he did not, he was kept on the sideline. But if he'd gotten the ball back, he was going to win that football game. Because in the second half, Kyler Murray had been virtually unstoppable against a 49er defense that definitely came in as the hottest defense as far as taking the ball away Mm -hmm. in the National Football League. As far as rushing the passer, they were the hottest defense. And I think... Yesterday, you thought that defense was going to terrorize Mm -hmm. little tiny Kyler Murray, and I did not see that in the second half. No. Which brings us to Emmanuel Sanders. Is that not a sweet pickup by this team? It looks like just what the doctor ordered for Jimmy G. Because they were, what, last in, like, receiving touchdowns for the receivers? And people were beginning to think, man, uh, Emmanuel has lost it. No. Mm. Put Emmanuel Sanders with a good quarterback Uh and see what he's capable of doing. If Jimmy Garoppolo plays this well... This is the best team in football. Now, I don't know that he can continue playing this well, but if when we look at within the NFC, the three best teams, record-wise and I think eye test-wise, Niners, Packers, Saints, who has the best defense among the three? The Niners. 49ers. Who has the best running game among the three? The 49ers. The question is, how much worse is the Niners passing game than one with Drew Brees and one with Aaron Rodgers? And up until last night, the answer was a hell of a lot worse. So much worse that people were concerned, are the Niners going to follow a script that we're very familiar with, which is the great defense, limited quarterback, very good regular season, flame out in the playoff script. That was the script of the Chicago Bears last year. One could argue that was the script of the Jacksonville Jaguars was a couple years ago it was certainly the script of the Vikings in 2015 and damn near every Cincinnati Bengal playoff team that we'd seen during the Andy Dalton Marvin Lewis era I don't think Jimmy G is going to be a 300 yard 135 passer rating guy moving forward but if he is just somewhere in the middle of where he was the first half of the year and where he was last night that to me does elevate the Niners into the discussion right alongside if not ahead of the Packers and the Saints I'm skeptical if this is duplicable against a better secondary and defense than what they have in Arizona. But if they can, then they check every single box of a championship caliber team. You ever notice that there's a lot of quarterbacks in the history of football. A lot of the best quarterbacks are really handsome, like would walk into a room full of men and you'd be like, oh, that's that guy's really handsome. You know, there's, you know, obviously there's obvious some Brett Favre guys out there, but like there's quarterback position more than any other position. And I started getting calls And back then, emails from NFL guys saying, hey, I like your show. You talk a lot of football. And there's something we call quarterback face. And it is a real thing. We're looking for confidence. Yes, an arm. Yes, uh, you started for three years in college. Yes, all the requisite skills. NFL scouts call it quarterback face. And Jimmy G has the league's best quarterback face. And it matters. And he reminds me of a young Tom Brady, who we said, well, he's got a coach, Brady's got Belichick, and a defense and a running game. But there was an it quality to Tom Brady. And that it to me was always confidence. And I know it sounds absurd, but he was so great on third down last night. And third down in the NFL for a quarterback is not only the money down, it's the confidence down. Garoppolo is great on third down. He plays cocky. He goes for it. And I'm not saying if you don't have perfect facial symmetry, you can't be great. I don't need to mention names. But it is funny. Favre into Rodgers into Montana into Brady into Russell Wilson. Into, eh, I watched Garoppolo last night. He plays with so much confidence for a guy that hasn't started very much. And much like Brady, when Brady came into the NFL, all we talked about was his coach, just like Kyle Shanahan, his defense, just like the Niners. And Well, I mean, they run the ball at will, just like the Niners. And it's like, no. There's an it quality. And by the way, you got to have the, you know, by, on, by, by and large, you want to be about 6'2 in the NFL. Exceptions, obviously. You want to have the requisite mobility arm. 
Obviously. You want to be a two- to a three-year starter in college? Obviously. I'm not saying it's the number one box to check, 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 check. But there is a box for quarterbacks, the it box, the confidence box. And I asked Jimmy Johnson what once. I said, what's leadership? And Jimmy Johnson, one of the great coaches ever, goes, ah, I don't really know what it is. Yeah, I think it's a lot of confidence, yeah, among other guys. I, I can't really explain it, but, you know, do you have the confidence – you know, if you, if you succeeded at something a lot in life, and I'm like, and Jimmy Johnson, I said with Troy Aikman, he's like, he just had the, Troy just was a, it was, it, what, it, it, it. There's an it. And I think the it part of it is quarterback face. That dude, he plays confident. I would too.